All right, we are back on the video lesson. It's been a minute. So we are on 2.7 lines and transversals. So what your video lesson on is going to be mostly a review, and then we'll do the rest of the notes in class. will be basically new information. So we're just going to identify relationships between lines and then special angle pairs that are formed when lines intersect. But I love this stuff, you guys. I love it. I love it. I love it. It's good stuff. So be excited with me. This is a review, obviously, parallel lines. We obviously know the formal, or we just know that parallel lines do not intersect. The formal definition would be two coplanar lines that do not intersect. Um, we use these arrows to indicate lines are parallel on a diagram. So these guys right here are telling us those lines are parallel. And then symbolically, this is how we would write Line AB is parallel to CD. These vertical bars here, you guys see those? Those vertical bars here, okay, right there, tell us that things are parallel. But again, big ideas here, these arrows indicate parallel lines in a diagram. Parallel planes, basically the same thing as parallel lines. They are two planes that do not intersect. So that these guys are kind of like levitating on top of each other. Like if you were to hold two pieces of paper out in front of you and they wouldn't touch, that's what this is demonstrating right here. Um, symbolically, again, you'd say plane J is parallel to plane K with those two vertical bars right there. Skew lines. So we just kind of talked about this, I think, at the beginning of our last chapter. So skew lines are non-coplanar lines that do not intersect. So how they differ from parallel lines, because they both don't intersect, but these guys are non-coplanar, meaning they go in opposite directions. So basically, you have to have one going like vertically and one horizontally, but they can't touch. So an example would be like TP, there's my vertical, and QR. They're on different planes, and they're going to... Um, never going to intersect. So TP and QR. That's one example. Let's pick another. We could do PQ and SW. PQ, SW. And then our last one, we could do SP and WB. SP and WV. All of those are skew lines. They're on separate planes and they are non coplanar. Just real quick, I want to show you something. Um, why they have to be going different directions? So, like here's TP and here's VR. Those are still parallel. They, to like our picture, they're on different planes, but they're parallel. They're going the same direction. So, that's why those would not. All right, let's do some more <clears throat> examples. Name all segments parallel to AE. Here's my AE. What's parallel to it? Well, BF, your best friend, GC, um, and HD. Those would be all of your parallel lines to AE. Beautiful. Good work, team. All right, next. You have two examples of parallel planes. Okay, well, let's do the easy ones. It's the top and bottom. So we could say plane. Remember, you use plane, the word, and then three points. So I'll do A, B, C. And then plane. So if we did the bottom, we must now do the top. So it's parallel. So E, F, G, E. That's a really ugly E. Plane E, F, G. That's one pair. Now, should we do the left and right sides of the box? That seems simple enough. So we have plane E, A, D. And plane F, B, C. Righteous. Yep, that's it, folks. I knew there was another one. Okay. And then lastly on this slide, 
cute. Okay. Name all segments skew to GH. Oh boy, find GH. So everything that's skewed to it. So here is our segment. It can't touch it and it can't go the same direction. So here we go. So skew would be BC would be one. Um, FB would be another one. Let's see here. AD. And EA. Now I think all the other ones you guys would either be parallel or would touch. Let's see. This guy's parallel, this guy's parallel, this guy's parallel. And let's see, this one touches it, touches it, touches it, touches it. I think we got them. Those blue ones are the only four that work. Awesome. Okay. Last one. Actually, you know what? we'll start with this. This will be a good warm up. We'll start with this um, when I see you in class. So thanks for tuning in. You guys are great. Thanks for being you. Toodaloo.